Hi, this is Savitri and earlier I showed you a few things that you can do using the rounded rectangle tool. I want to show you one more thing in this video that you can do with it. So make sure this is selected and rounded rectangle tool. You see that little dot next to it and you want to go up and this time I want you to use the path option. And I failed to mention it earlier, the radius here, this determines the uh, size of the corners, the radius of it, right there. If you change this, let's say, to 30, it'll be a little smaller. So, you know, I don't know if there's a perfect corner rounder size, but I think it's a matter of preference. You can set it how way, however way you want it. So let me just create this path it's not filled up or anything I want to click on the paths tab down here and you'll see my work path there down in the bottom you should see a few buttons that you can click on I want to click on the stroke path with a brush but before I do that I want to click on my brush tool and make sure that I have the right settings for it so here's my brush pick the size you want you know whatever it is here and let's just oh uh, let's just move this up a little bit let's just make it two pixels and then I'll click on brush tip shape over here and I'll change the spacing and let's just say I'm happy with that and then I'll click on the stroke path you can't see anything there because of this rectangle so I'll go ahead and remove the work path and just highlight it and click delete and you can't still see it as well because of the guide so let me remove the guide and now I have dots where my path was. Now you might have to play with this a little bit as you can see here these two dots are a tad bit close so you might want to space it out a little bit until it's perfect. This is just a trial and error thing. Uh, but go ahead and try it out. Have a good time with it and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching.